as you can see, our first video, our, yeah. I'll be going back after this video uh, when I do my first detail and fixing all of the foot marks, shoe marks, foot marks. So what WeatherTech advised us to, hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Dana. I'm Art. And today we are reviewing something very special. Yes, this was the very first item that Dana wanted to pick up for her all new 2022 Hyundai Santa Fe Calligraphy Edition, the WeatherTech floor mats. I am a sucker for WeatherTech. <laughs> I am a fan of Husky liners, if you noticed that from our prior video where we actually did the install and review of those in the 2021 Subaru Forester, but Dana is definitely a fan of WeatherTech. Uh, they haven't done me any wrong in my 2010 Subaru Forester, so I'm going to carry on the tradition and install them in my 2022. Yeah. And what better time than our first snow? of the year of the year oh my goodness <laughs> so we are going to walk through the unboxing and what they look like inside of this vehicle so if you happen to be picking one of these up or already have and wanting to protect the beautiful carpet floor mats and floor around the seating areas this is definitely going to be an episode that you want to follow through so let's go ahead and get things started so unboxing and ironically enough, I have a Husky knife on hand. <laughs> <laughs> I do like their screwdrivers. <laughs> so if you've ever ordered WeatherTech before, you know that even though you have to pay for shipping, it does arrive relatively quickly. So this arrived very soon after ordering. This is supposed to be the front and rear floor mats, floor liners for the calligraphy edition. There's no padding to speak of in the box, but these are the front and the rears are still in the box. They still have the holes, both passenger and driver, to hold them in place. So without further ado, let's begin install. We'll start on the passenger side since we're already here. One thing that my Santa Fe came with that I really like is a grommet notch on the passenger side. I cannot begin to tell you how many times I found my floor liner scrunched all the way up on my passenger. This is going to be awesome. Just that easy. It pops right into place with the existing grommet. No need for adjustment. One of the awesome features is that the floor liners do come high up on both sides of the passenger floor well. So any passenger getting in with their boots caked in snow, it's gonna be protected. And in case you haven't seen our previous episode, it did come with this reversible cargo mat. So I did not have to buy a new mat to go in the cargo area. Very happy. The driver's side does have two grommets as opposed to one. So pull up from the foot first and it should just break free. I'll be going back with my first detail and ensuring that everything under these floor mats is flawless. So we're on the driver's side and the best way to get the grommets installed is with two thumbs on either side and give it a firm press. After installing it in the only place that the WeatherTech floor liner can be installed in this calligraphy edition, we have found that there's a, a pretty sizable gap. And you can see that my fingers can actually go all the way in. And with this, I'll be reaching out to the company to see what can be done. 
aside from this singular issue the floor liner covers up and around it even covers the footrest here we'll follow up and let you know what weather tech says and now we're ready to go ahead and do the rear so it's folded up in the box it does go over that center hump and it should be just as easily as setting it in A few moments later. So we reached out to WeatherTech and they are incredibly responsive. Within a couple hours, I had a response back from a representative and within 24 hours, we had a solution. It turns out that all of the WeatherTech floor liners come with some form of memory associated with them, but sometimes that form kind of gets thrown off during shipping. What WeatherTech advised us to do is to pull out the floor liner Put it inside in a room temperature area with some sort of weight to kind of reform that memory shape and leave it there overnight so the easiest weight that i had was a bag of dog food that i just left laying on the floor liner overnight and it worked so as soon as we put the floor liner back in the santa fe in the morning the gap issue is resolved We hope that you've enjoyed this product review and install video. And if you have any questions about it, drop us a comment, hit a like, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We'd love to hear from you. And as you can see, our video started out in the snow and it's snowing yet again here in Southern Ohio. So going to get a lot of use out of those WeatherTech floor liners. Stay safe. We'll see you next time.